Welcome to the announcer show. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome. We're live from the uh, the trailer out in the uh, the parking lot where all the food is going, and uh, we've got some great great announcements for you today. We do. Um, and uh, the first announcement is that Marcus is married. Yeah! Woo! Congratulations, Marcus. <laughs> now, your number one announcement is that uh, we have Box City this weekend, this Saturday. Aren't you excited, Saturday. seventh graders? Yeah, seventh graders. Woo! <laughs> so, um, get your boxes. Um, and bring your canned food for uh, that weekend. Um, you know, sleeping bags, pillows, boxes, decorate your boxes, all that stuff. Bring it 6 o'clock Saturday evening, and we go all the way till 9.30 the next morning. Um, so we'll see you 7th graders at Box City this Saturday. Announcement number two, number two. is MSAM is coming up on October 10th. 9.30 to 10.30 in the youth room. We're going to be playing games. Yeah. We're going to be eating some waffles. Yeah. We're going to be doing a devotion. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, might be inside, might be outside. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, MSMAM, October 10th. Write it down and remember it. Be there. That's right. <laughs> and uh, your number three announcement, number three announcement, is that uh, the Fall Festival and Holy Ghost Party are coming up October 10th. 29th. That's a Friday, Friday, October 29th. Sign up to help for Fall Festival on the Youth Bulletin Board, and also sign up to attend the Holy Ghost Party from Good. Good to see you. <laughs> see, lots of fans of the announcement show. They're all over the place. Anyways, so um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Fall Festival. Sign up to attend the uh, Fall Fest. No, to the Holy. Sign up to attend the Holy Ghost Party on the Youth Bulletin Board. Um, the cost is five dollars for that. And you can bring a can of food as well. That would be so, so very cool. And then also, um, yeah, sign up to work for the, the Fall Festival. Yeah. And, and earn some money towards uh, trips and things yeah, like that. Yeah, it's going to be a really fun day. The Fall Festival, uh, Holy Ghost Party is going to be awesome. I really looking absolutely forward. love it. Lots of candy, lots of fun, yeah. uh, lights and music, and oh, and and fun night games. Don't forget night games. Love night games. Night games, night definitely. Games. Anyways, so uh, what do we got here? Oh. That's a nice noodle you got there, Marcus. Thank you. It's a big noodle. It's it, a fun noodle. It's a fun noodle. It right. is a fun noodle. So, and since we we thought we would want to do our part, we want to do our part for, um, you know, the the cross food drive. So we thought we'd bring some noodles for them. Did you know, Dane, that these noodles are non-perishable? They. You're right. <laughs> they are non-perishable. So this is perfect. You bring your non-perishable food like noodles to. Uh, I wonder. I wonder if the restaurant noodles has these. I should they, ask them. They, you, they do, but you've got to ask for them special. Okay. Next so time you're at a noodle order. restaurant, can ask I get for a, the fun yeah? Noodles. Can I have a fun noodle, please? Anyways, so October, believe it or not, is National Noodle Appreciation and Awareness Month. So right. um, we've got some fun facts for you uh, for uh, all these great noodles. Um, there's so many noodles and so many things. So, but did you know? Did you know? <laughs> that contrary to popular belief, Marco Polo did not invent the noodle. Nope, he didn't. I didn't know that. He didn't know, yeah. And I thought I knew everything about noodles. No, it, yeah, but he didn't. <laughs> did you know what, what? that Christopher Columbus was born in October, what? which also happens to be Noodle Month? Wow, that's amazing. Christopher Columbus was Italian, and Italians like noodles. I can attest to that. That's right, they do. Did you know that... Um, Noodles were first invented in 400 BC. 400 BC. That's 400 years before Jesus Christ. Noodles have Whoa. been around for a long time. I didn't know that. Did you know? I did not know that there's over 600 different pasta shapes really? in the world. Really? Wow. Over 600. That's amazing. Did you know, Marcus, <laughs> that um, the tomato came from Mexico? So it wasn't in Italy. So it took actually 200 years before there was such thing as spaghetti. And tomato sauce. Oh my gosh. The 200 years. That's incredible. Can you imagine that? Did you know that one billion pounds of pasta is about 212,595 miles of 16 ounce packages of spaghetti stacked end to end? That's enough to circle the globe nine times. That's a lot of pasta. <laughs> wow, that's so amazing. Hold on, I've got another one here for you. This is good. Did you know that egg noodles have egg in them? What? Yeah, totally. Well, that was news to me. Yeah, no, it's so true. I, 
I didn't know that. Any other fun facts? Uh, did you know what? that pasta is one of America's favorite foods? Really? <laughs> I know, I wow. know, it's crazy. In 2000, 1.3 million pounds of pasta were sold in American grocery stores. Wow. If you lined up 1.3 million pounds of 16 ounce packages, it would circle the equator. Nine times. Nine times. That's amazing. That's wow. such a cool fact. I had to do it twice. Twice. <laughs> Did you know that um, the average Italian eats 51 pounds of pasta every year? Did you know that? I did know that. You d oh wow! Did you know no, that? I the did. Oh, did you know <laughs> that the average American eats about 15 and a half pounds of noodles every year? Really? Yeah. Did you we know? need to catch up. I know. We got to eat more with the rest of the world. Uh... <laughs> did you know what? That during the 1980s, macaroni was traditionally considered a blue-collar down-home meal. Really? But as time went on and we <laughs> approached the 90s and early aughts, things started changing to where pasta became more of an upscale thing. That's why you can go to restaurants oh. called Macaroni Grill. Oh, yeah. And eat by candlelight. That's a, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Did you speaking of macaroni, did you know that Thomas Jefferson was the one that brought macaroni to the United States? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, he did. Thomas I Jefferson. He's that. a nice Did you know that pasta is a good source of carbohydrates? I did not know that. Wow. Well, now you're prepared for National Pasta Awareness and Appreciation Month. Yes. We are glad that you have shared this time with us. And remember, if you have any more food that you want to bring to the trailer, you forgot some food, you know, like some noodles or whatever, you can totally bring them tomorrow. Bring them tomorrow to put in the trailer. So awesome. So remember, MSMAM, Holy Ghost Party, Box City, all happening very soon. And all very fun. That's right. Very fun. <laughs> so uh, let's give it up for Carrie. All right. All right. Carrie! 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 Carrie, where are you?